ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما Our Master Our Lord Gift us Grant us You know in Quran we find آتنا Give us أعطنا To give a grand gift Gift us An unexpected gift A beautiful gift هب لنا This is the gift you're asking Allah to give you and lana is muqaddam. This prepositional phrase is brought earlier, especially for us. We're asking for a special favor to Allah. And what is this favor that we're asking of? Allah Azza wa Jalla. Grant us from our spouses and not just our children, which is awlad, dhurriyatina. You know, wa dhurriyatina. Future generations of us. In other words, you're not even asking for your immediate children, but your lineage for generations to come. Grant us from all of them coolness of eyes. Make our eyes cool by means of our spouses and by means of our children. All of us, all of us have to appreciate the power of this dua because of the crisis of the world today. The world's fundamental institution of family is under attack. Most of the people here, even Muslims are not immune from this problem. In many of our homes, the storm that I said, when you find coolness of the eyes, you find refuge from the storm. The storm is not outside the house. The storm is inside the house. And you have to get away from home to get away from the yelling and the screaming and the name calling and the insults and the depression and the sadness and the friction between husband and wife and parent and children. Our homes are broken. Brother is not talking to brother. Parents are not talking to children. This is a crisis inside the home. And what better dua to ask? The exact opposite. You know, the family has become a place of sorrow, of depression, of sadness, of anger, of rage. People feel like they want to escape it. And here Allah tells us to ask so perfectly, so eloquently, that the home should become the place of refuge. It's like the outside world is a storm. And you suffer on the outside in your refuge, your safe haven is those doors in your home, is your spouse, is your children. When you see them, your worries disappear. But for most of us, when you see them, your worries begin. <laughs> and so we ask Allah, give us from our spouses and our children coolness of eyes. That's what we ask Allah. When somebody said, I want to get married, go further, not just get married. I want to get married to a spouse that will cool my eyes. That I'll be the coolness of their eyes and they'll be the coolness of mine. And Allah Azza wa Jal took the dua further. And then we understand why talk about future generations. وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ imama, And make us leaders over those who are cautious, conscious, fearful, pious, righteous. Those who are fearful before Allah. And you know what that makes you realize? It makes you realize your relationships right now aren't just about you. You're setting a precedent in your family for generations to come. So when you are not acting as good husbands and good wives and good parents and good children, what are your future generations gonna be doing? And who's gonna be answerable for that negative trend that was started by you? Who's gonna be answerable for that? So it's an intelligent dua that we should find coolness of the eyes, not only in our immediate family, but the future generation should be people that are righteous too. Because when we're raised on judgment day, we are imam over the entire family, whether they were messed up or not. We better ask for the kinds of people if they're underneath us, not those who are dragging us down on Judgment Day, but those who are elevating us. And we beg Allah that He give all of us those kinds of families. So I beg all of you sincerely, that we all make this sincere dua to Allah. رَبَّنَا هَبْ لَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّاتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُنٍ وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا I sincerely pray that Allah Azza wa Jalla gives all of us and makes from our spouses and our children those that are the coolness of our eyes and that He makes us Imam, a leader over those that are pious and righteous. May Allah forgive all of our shortcomings, accept all of our dua and make the means of our forgiveness easy upon us.